Infotopia presents Texas Indians, the Karankawas. The now extinct Karankawa Indians lived on the Gulf Coast of Texas from Galveston Bay to Corpus Christi Bay. They spoke a language called Karankawa, but only about 100 words exist today. The word Karankawa is believed to mean dog lover or dog raiser. The Karankawas were nomadic and migrated between the barrier islands and the mainland of Texas based on the availability of food and the weather conditions. They hunted, fished, and gathered. They ate fish, shellfish, and turtles, as well as animals and plants. The Karankawas hollowed out the trunks of large trees to make dugout canoes, their main method of transportation. Each canoe was large enough to carry an entire family and their possessions. Karankawas were powerful runners and swimmers. They played competitive games and wrestling was very popular. They lived in a wigwam made of a willow pole frame and covered in animal skins with a floor of rush mats. They designed pottery and baskets and lined them with a waterproofing tar they found on Gulf Coast beaches. The longbow, as tall as a man and made of red cedar, and arrows were their chosen weapons for hunting and defense. The males painted and tattooed their bodies and smeared themselves with dirt and animal grease to keep the mosquitoes away. The females also painted and tattooed themselves. They traveled in bands of 30 to 40 people led by a chief. Groups communicated with each other via smoke signals. They came together for social events or defense planning. In 1528, Cabeza de Vaca lived among the Karankawas for several years and learned a lot about them. In 1685, a French expedition led by La Salle established a fort in Karankawa territory, but the Karankawas eventually attacked the settlers. For more than a hundred years, the Spanish tried to move the Karankawas into missions, but they weren't successful. By the end of Spanish rule in Texas, the Karankawa population was greatly reduced by diseases and they suffered a defeat by Jean Lafitte's forces. When Texas became independent in 1836, there were only a few Karankawas left, scattered along the Texas coast. For more information on Texas Indians, go to infotopia.info. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss our next video. Thanks for joining us today.